So you're thinking about moving to Auburn and you have questions around which neighborhood is going to be the best fit for you. Well, in today's video, we're going to cover just that. So stick around. Auburn, Alabama area. I want you to make sure. Hey everyone, welcome to Living in Auburn, Alabama. My name is Alex Acuff. I get to proudly serve as the broker. I'm, all, I'm also a realtor here in Auburn, Opelika area for EXP Realty, the Acuff Weekly Group. Um, if this is your first time to our channel, make sure just to hit the bell notification. That way you don't miss another video as well as hit the subscribe button because we'd love for you to follow us and leave us a comment and let us know what you love about the video or any questions that you have that we can use maybe for a future video. And if you are looking to make the move to the Auburn Opelika area, I want you to reach out to me and my team. We would love to be the boots on the ground that help you find the perfect neighborhood or area or home for you to live in. Maybe it's even a condo for a student, but either way, we can help you guys make that move seamless. So if you're looking for everything, eating, sleeping, living, playing in Auburn, Alabama, you found the right channel, welcome. So in today's video, it's all about helping you, the consumer, finding the best neighborhood that's going to fit your needs. Maybe you're watching this video from across the country, maybe like Denver or Seattle or up in Maine or New York or Virginia or heck, maybe even next door over in Georgia. Either way, we're excited to have you here because we're going to talk a little bit about our strategy session and how we work with you as a buyer and how we can best serve you and add the most value when it comes to finding the perfect neighborhood for you. So for us at ACUF Weekly Group, it's all about our formula for success and how we work with you. So if you are looking to make the move, make sure that you hit the link in our bio that will take you to a Calendly link that will help you set up a Zoom conversation with us. And that's how we really start the process and get a strategy session in place. Because ultimately, if we don't have a recipe for success or a vision of how you're going to make it through the woods here to the perfect neighborhood, uh, we are failing you as your agent. So really the first tip here is just to schedule a strategy session. That way you can learn more about how we work with our clients, how our team Team operates because it is different from most teams. If you've worked with real estate professionals in the past, you'll know that not all real estate agents do the same exact thing time and time again. Each client is specific and different. And so we want to make sure that we're catering our team to your needs and wants. So I want to start off with sharing a quick story with a buyer that I am actually currently working with. And I feel like it's really relevant for you as a consumer. A few things that we need to know, we are after August 17th. So if you haven't paid attention to anything in the news about the uh, NAR settlement and all that, we do require some type of buyer agency agreement with you as a consumer, whether that's a one day, a one property, three months, you name it, a time frame for us to cover our fee and what and go over that and what our value proposition is for you, the consumer, and how that's going to help you in your negotiations and walking you through the process. So that's really the number one thing I just want to throw out there. But as we, I want to tell you a little bit about a current client that we're working with. And so we had been looking at properties prior to the lead up to the changes with the NAR. And so what we did is as we got closer to the week of the settlement is that we actually sat down, had a, had a secondary strategy session. We weren't having a whole lot of luck finding the perfect home for them. And so when we sat down, we went through our strategy, went through a value proposition, talked about our time frame, your needs, their needs, and how we were going to get them to the finish line. Ultimately, it led to us completing of being an exclusive buyer's agent for our client. And uh, we're actually currently in negotiations right now. So it's really exciting, really exciting time, especially in real estate as a whole. So a little bit different pace than what we've seen before, or a little bit different cadence. So just be prepared for that when you're starting the buying process. Now, there's always a lot of uncertainties when hiring an agent, and we want to make sure that you feel comfortable with everything that we go over as far as how we work with buyers, how our team operates, working with our, our uh, closing coordinator, working with me as your agent, working with a team member of mine to see properties and how that all operates. So we always want to make sure that you feel comfortable all throughout the time frame that you're working with us in that contract. 
So the first thing we want to do whenever we sit down for a strategy session is that we actually want to get into some of your needs and understanding things such as where do you work and your proximity to that because neighborhoods going to play a crucial role in your commute time to work. It's really important that we talk about this because a lot of people are transitioning to the Auburn Opelika area because of a new job. And with that new job, it, com it comes a commute. So uh, most people are looking for the most efficient or effective or the least amount of time to get to work. Sometimes that's true. Most of the time that's true, but it's not true all the time. I've worked with people in the past that actually like to live a little bit further away, have kind of that ramp up time, that quiet time in the car, as well as the way to, uh, you know, shut down the engines, bring them back down to neutral by the time they get home. If you work a high stress, loud environment. So we all, we want to understand what your commute looks like and what is it most important to you when it comes to that commute. So for example, let's just say you work in Montgomery, but you want to take advantage of Auburn City Schools. We're going to talk a lot about Mims Trail. We're going to talk a lot about the silos, new neighborhoods, out, out um, Wire Road. We're going to talk about Dawson's Corner. We're, we're going to talk about Richland Road, some of the advantages, the disadvantages of being on the west side. So we're going to go through all those pros and cons and really discover what's going to make your commute the best. Not just only work, but we want to make sure we're taking priority to your lifestyle and what's important to you. We've worked with buyers that are really big on being close to either a Chick-fil-A or a Starbucks. So if we know that up front, that's really going to help us cater our search because we might make that a priority when we're looking at, hey, this is where they work. This is their commute. This is their lifestyle because, hey, not everybody has to commute. You could be working from home and relocating to Auburn just to take advantage of the lower cost of living in Alabama. So if you are working from home, it may be important to you to be close to your favorite coffee shop or your favorite amenities here in town. Maybe you're a big runner or biker and you want to live near Chihuahua State Park or out on the west side near Kiesel. Living in the middle of town, you can take advantage of Auburn University, which is a great place to go walk, go run. You can even play disc golf on campus. Next up in priorities, we want to talk about your living situation and what is important to you. This is vital to finding the perfect neighborhood for you. And the reason why is because not everybody is looking for an HOA. Maybe you have a fifth wheel or equipment or you have additional cars and HOA is not going to approve of a lot of equipment or large vehicles sitting out front in your house. Sometimes you are a big green thumb type person and you like to maintain your landscape differently from others or plant trees, add plants. Maybe you want to redo landscape and sometimes that's just not a good fit for a lot of HOAs. Or you could be on the flip side where you're saying, hey, look, Alex, I need a neighborhood that has a neighborhood pool that has sidewalks for walking. I want to be able to golf cart. And these are the important things to you because the simplicity of those amenities for you, maybe your family makes a lot of sense. And then we just need to go into figuring out, OK, now that we figured out that, hey, either you do or don't want an HOA, what areas and what neighborhoods are going to be a best fit for you? Because you could be in a bigger neighborhood that is older, that maybe has larger lots, that doesn't have an HOA, that is a perfect fit for your situation. If you have extra cars or a fifth wheel or other equipment that you would not regularly be able to keep in front of your house in a standard neighborhood with an HOA. Now that we've talked a lot about HOAs and no HOA, it's really good to dig down into the home criteria and digging into how many bedrooms do you need? Do you need extra space for an office? Are bathrooms the ultimate priority, whether you have a half bath or just two full baths? Then we need to talk about the yard. Does it need to be fenced in? Do you have animals? Are you willing to put in a fence after closing? So we're going to go through all these little things. Maybe you're a big, maybe you love to cook and you're looking for a more high end home with a chef style kitchen. So it's going to be really important that we sit down and have our strategy session because your definition of a chef's kitchen is most likely different from other clients that we've worked with. So what I like to do in this instance where that I hear a feeling coming 
coming from my clients that tells me that's an absolute must have, that it's gonna be a deal breaker, and we're just gonna take a kitchen for an example, is that what we're gonna do during our strategy session is that we're gonna pull up some properties, we're gonna put them on the big screen, we're gonna walk through them, and I'm gonna say, what do you think of this kitchen? What is it missing? What are your priorities in a kitchen like this? Is this even a good fit of a kitchen? Are these appliances exactly what you're looking for, or are these not of a quality that you are expecting. So it's important for me and you to get on the same page and just understand what your needs are and the level of that. So when we sit down, we're gonna go through all that criteria because you could say, Alex, absolutely no carpet. I gotta have hardwoods. And we get that a lot. That's a pretty common one. And what we end up finding out at the end of the day is that maybe it wasn't necessarily hardwoods. Maybe they just wanted LVP and when we look at the negotiations, maybe the home that is a perfect fit otherwise, other than it maybe it has carpet in the bedrooms, is that we bring in our vendors and we price out the, the cost of changing that carpet to an LVP flooring, and we've overcome that objection and we've gotten you the perfect house in the perfect neighborhood with the perfect location, with the perfect commute to your lifestyle, as the things you love to do, as well as your work, and then all of a sudden, we've made a 10 out of 10 fit for that perfect home, and look, Every time I work with a client, they always have the number one idea of where they want to live. And now I will tell you, as a real estate professional, and I've sold here for over 10 years, in my experience, I would be open as a consumer to our suggestions as far as neighborhoods and locations because your needs are very important and we've got to take that into consideration. But just recently, I've been dealing with a situation where the needs were, or the wants were, is that we wanted to be in Auburn, we wanted to be inside the loop, we wanted to be under four hundred. $50,000. We wanted uh, four bedrooms, at least 1,800 square feet. A garage is great. A fenced in backyard would be, we at least need to ha have the ability to fence in the backyard and we don't want an HOA. So we want to be in an older neighborhood. Just dealt with this. And what we found out through further investigation through our strategy is that, hey, we love all that stuff. The only thing I wanted to interject is, hey, have you taken a look at Opelika? Because what we found is in the first couple of weeks, it's a very competitive price point in Auburn, not to push someone away, but you better be willing to compete in this market, whether it's the market is good or bad across the country, inside the loop in Auburn is a very competitive market. So what we found is that they were able, absolutely able to get everything they needed in a home, and especially one that would make a great rental, because that was very important to the husband. We found that perfect property in North Opelika, and I saved them about $70,000, $80,000 from what that property would have been listed for just a couple miles west. So these are some of the things, this is why you want to lean on an expert that's going to be able to guide you through. And what you find is maybe Opelika's amenities make more sense for your lifestyle. There you go. There's your big question in this video and something to maybe uh, bring some uh, provoking thoughts to, to the forefront for you is when you look at lifestyle, is that dependent upon the city or is it dependent upon which area is going to be a better fit? So we've got to work through those and and that's how we really discover exactly the perfect neighborhood for you. Okay, we've gone through a lot of your needs and wants, and now let's talk about budgeting and the balancing act of real estate. So with purchasing a property, your budget could be a little bit lower, but you need more square footage. And so we could recommend some different areas or neighborhoods that are gonna be a better fit for your budget that's gonna meet the criteria of exactly what you need and deliver on that as a great place to live, maybe it's a growing family, maybe it's a uh, where you need to work, but you need more space inside the house. Maybe you have a side gig where you work inside your house or you work from home. So we wanna take all those things into consideration when we look at the budget, because traditionally you're gonna get a little bit less square footage in Auburn versus a city like Opelika or Beauregard or Waverly or out in Lochapoca. So you have to really account for how, much, how far do you want your dollar to go? How important is your location? So we're gonna take all those into consideration because that will be very different in every neighborhood of Auburn because some are more sought after than others. There's different builders, different build quality. And so if we need your dollar to not go as far, let's so just say you're an all cash buyer and you need just a condo for your kid, well then downtown, we might be able to find you something that's you know less than a thousand square feet for under 400,000. 
So we've got to look and see what your priorities are. If it's location, heck, you could be buying it to make it an Airbnb later on. So depending on what your needs are, we've got to make sure we're just balancing what your expectations are versus your real budget. And we're going to help you walk through that. We're going to talk a little bit about transportation and accessibility. And this is just going to be particular to the Auburn area and a little bit of Opelika and the rest of Lee County, actually. So in Auburn, you have Tiger Transit. So if you're a student and you're, or you're a parent looking for your student or you're looking for a game day, you would traditionally want to find a property that is going to be on Tiger Transit. And if Tiger Transit is important to you, the good news is, is that we've wised up and we were able to actually take that as a search criteria to be on the Auburn University Transit, which is called Tiger Transit. And we're able to put you close to a stop, which most of Auburn is actually with Tiger Transit. Some of the older neighborhoods, maybe not so much, but as far as your major arteries that come out of the university and all the different areas where different condos and apartment complexes are, most of those are gonna be on Tiger Transit, but it is important to take a look because you could say, hey, this townhome on the north side of Auburn is a great location. And then I'm gonna say, hey, what are your needs for transportation? And they're gonna say, well, we just need Tiger Transit. And to find out when we dig in that those townhouses like at Farmville Lakes, for example, they're not going to be on Tiger Transit. So what does that do to the value and the potential of that product? I will say if you're looking for a condo, just for example, and it's not on Tiger Transit and you want to use that for a future Airbnb or game day, it may not appreciate or be of higher value. And the reason why is because Tiger Transit's extremely valuable on game day because a lot of people are drinking and riding that into the university or they like to put everything on there and then go tailgate, go to the game and take it back home because it runs all throughout the day. And there's a little app that you can pull up that'll tell you exactly when the Tiger Transit is going to be there. So that's very important. The next thing is, is maybe you have accessibility challenges and you need to be on Lee County public transportation. And you can look that up on Lee County, Alabama's website and find more information about those routes. You can actually reach out to them. If you're in need of accessibility, they will work with you on on creating either a stop or them coming to your area to make sure it's a good fit for you, especially when we're looking at the neighborhood. We just kind of want to make sure that it's going to be a great fit for you and your transportation and accessibility needs. Next, I want to talk a little bit about taxes. So if you're coming from a state like California or New York or even Texas, you'll find that the taxes in Alabama are a lot lower than you're used to. In fact, if you're somewhere like New Jersey or New York, a lot of times you'll see that our yearly taxes are about a little bit more than one month of taxes in a, in a northern state. So it's uh, it's something to account for because your cost of living is definitely going to go way down. In fact, compared to New York, we are 50 percent cheaper when it comes to cost of living and 40 percent cheaper than LA. If you're coming from Atlanta, we're actually 20 percent cheaper with the cost of living. So if you're looking for savings, a great place to live, good community, the Auburn and Palaka area is going to be a good fit for you. Now, going back to a little bit about budgeting, I just want to touch on taxes real quick. If you have any questions about that, make sure you just reach out to us. We'll walk you through and, and give you a good estimate or guesstimate of, of pretty close within a hand grenade of how much you can expect in taxes. Also, I want to talk a little bit about budgeting. And it's really important that when we first talk with people, a lot of times they they find houses that they want. And when we ask them about, you know, have you been pre-qualified or have you talked to a lender? A lot of them are like, well, my credit rating's terrible. Or, you know, I, I just don't know how much I can afford. And a lot of people are putting the carriage before the horse. So we want to kind of take a step back. And in our strategy session, we do a consult. We talk, you know, we like to recommend a, a budgeting app every dollar. So you can look up every dollar. It's a good way to start tracking your funds. It's, it's a very elementary way to get going on, on creating a budget moving forward. And then we want to connect you with one of our local lenders, whether that's in the strategy session with us or just on a phone call and or we can bring them in on Zoom and they can walk through exactly things to help you. Maybe if you need to improve your credit score, what are some things that you could do along those lines or filling out an application and getting your pre-qualification, getting all that finished up front, because it's really important when we make an offer on a home that you really, really want. The last thing I want to do is put you in a position where we failed to contract on the property because we were not prepared financially. So that's a lot about 
finding the perfect home and really the finding the perfect neighborhood because not all neighborhoods are created equal. Just a quick little note here. We do not have a whole lot of gated communities. We do have 55 plus communities. We have your traditional HOA with neighborhood pools, multiple neighborhood pools. We currently don't have any neighborhoods that I know of where it's around a city center. We don't have any of those just yet. Golf carting can be a bit of a challenge. You can golf cart neighborhoods, but if you're looking to golf cart around town, you really need to live close to downtown and you can golf cart there or on the south side. There's a little bit more accessibility when it comes to golf carting. I just want to make a quick note of that. And so what's important for us? Let's just talk about the next steps. Let's just say that you say, hey, you know, Alex, or to your spouse, you're saying, hey, you know, I think we should have a conversation with Alex. What do we need to do? Number one, you need to hop on the link within our bio, schedule a strategy session with us through Zoom. We'll walk you through everything we've talked about today and more. And we'd love for you to bring with you at that appointment your must haves and your must have nots. So we wanna know exactly what you absolutely need because you could say, hey Alex, we need three bedrooms, but in reality, we really need a fourth because I work from home. So it's important for us to know about all those additional spaces or if you're a big cook or if you need a big backyard, you're bigger and entertaining. Let's just say you're one of the new coaches coming in and you entertain a lot of people and that entertainment space is crucial. So that will help us narrow it down because the last thing we wanna do is hop in a car and aimlessly spread ourselves thin and wear you out with looking at a ton of homes. We like to get that number down to a maximum eight homes. Gosh, I hope I'm not showing you more than five because we should have done our job up front to figure out exactly what you want and what you're looking for and let us deliver as your agents here in the Auburn Opelika area. One more note, if you are looking to potentially sell your home, I'd love for you to scan the QR code on the screen right here, and that way we can get you a personalized home valuation. We actually also offer cash offers for homes too, and you do not have to live in the Auburn Opelika area. Fantastic if you are, we can come meet you in person, but if you're across the country, go ahead and scan that QR code, and we can connect you with one of our partners in your area who will absolutely take care of you, I promise. So thank you for joining me today. We're gonna to figure out exactly what neighborhood is the best fit for you when you get here. And make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you loved about the video, what you'd like to know more about. Make sure also to schedule that Zoom, reach out to me and my team. We wanna be the boots on the ground that help you find the perfect neighborhood. So thank you guys so much again, and we will see you on the next video.